exercise 21. In this exercise, we're going to take a look at the sheet metal tools again, and in this case, just the cylindrical shape. We're going to go ahead and extrude that as a sheet metal part. We're going to flatten it out, and we're going to learn how to put a pattern in like this, and then go ahead and fold it. So here you can see there's a flat pattern, and then we saw it folded. So let's begin. Let's start a new part file. Make sure part is selected and sheet metal needs to be selected. Go ahead and call this E21. Hit OK. Select the front plane and start a sketch. Find the center and ends arc tool. Locate the center point. Click and drag out a circle, what looks like a circle, and stay to the left of the center line. Click. Drag to 9 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 3 o'clock, and then up to where it actually snaps with this, like uh, where the two are aligned. But leave an opening at the top. Click, and the middle click two times. Let's go ahead and put in a normal dimension between those two endpoints, and it's going to be 0 0.01 to enter. Then change the diameter here, double click on that, and let's change it to 2.5. At this point, we're ready to just hit OK, and now we go to Extrude. Click on Extrude. On the left, it's going to try and default to a surface, but we actually want to extrude as wall. So click on that. The wall thickness we'll put in there is 0 0.062. And then we'll put in a depth of 2.5 inches. Go ahead and hit the green check mark to apply. At this point, we could flatten it at any time, um, and we're going to use the um, Unbend tool. So go ahead and click on Unbend, and it should flatten it out. Go ahead and hit the green check mark to apply. Now we could actually start a sketch on that surface of the flats. Now on one side, go ahead and draw out some circles. Draw out three, make them all equal, and then position them off of this edge by 0.5, make the diameter 0.5, and the spacing of each one. We'll just go ahead and just uh, eyeball it here. So from here to here, we'll go 0.5, here and here, we'll go 0.5. This one, we'll just go ahead and put uh, 0.25. All right. At this point, we could go ahead and hit OK and go to extrude. Now you just have to flip the direction so it cuts into the part, and you could select through all and hit apply. Now we want to pattern that, so make sure you have the, the extrude selected and go to editing. Underneath the editing here, you'll find the pattern tool. Click on pattern, and on the left, now you can select direction and select this length edge for our direction. We want to put in uh, 15, and we want to make sure we flip it too. There's a flip switch here. And we want to go ahead and put the spacing in at. Let's try one inch. Go ahead and hit the green check mark to apply. And there we have our pattern. Now we could go ahead and just fold it back up. So we go bend back. We see our preview. Looks good. Hit the green check mark to apply. And there is our cylindrical shape. And that could be brought into a drawing. And this concludes exercise 21.